you know, you can learn a lot if you want to. You can learn what happened so you can know what's going to happen because three things in life never change. God never changes, sin never changes, and human nature never changes. Everything else changes. It's 2020, February 28, 2020. My, oh my, it was just Y2K a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Everybody was worried about the millennium changing and the world would come to an end. It's amazing how things just continue to repeat throughout history. But if you don't know history, then you're going to struggle and you'll miss that knowledge and therefore be unable to put it into use. It's important to read. It's important to listen. Most people don't do either one of those very well. I have kind of a rule I developed over 40 years ago that said, if I was moving, listen, cassette tapes, D, CDs, DVDs. But if I was sitting, read. And so I began to develop a reading habit learning as I went by taking notes on what I'd read. Everybody knows I read lots and lots and lots. Everybody in my family knows that I really like history because as I thought back on it, I have a lot of pioneering blood in my family tree. That's very important to me. Because I don't think that my ancestors thought a guy like me would ever show up in the family tree and want to know about them. My great grandparents were pioneers as they settled their places in the Great West. I'm proud of that heritage. I've done lots and lots of research on my family. I hope you have too. And I'm proud to be part of that. My grandparents carved out their living in southern Idaho, carved out their very existence. We're here before the automobile because there weren't many roads. The story is told of my grandmother who, first time ever in an automobile, drove it right down the driveway and right into the garage and right through the back wall of the garage, all the while yelling and pulling back on the steering wheel, whoa, whoa, and crash right on through. That brought a lot of laughter sitting around dinner tables telling of the past stories. I guess I say all that to say this, time goes by. Time is valuable and you can't save it. You have to use it. And the more you use it, the more effectively you use it, the greater the blessing and benefit from that usage. On the contrary, the less you use it, it weakens and fades and dies. Use your time wisely. Invest it in the service of your fellow man and do the right thing by drawing closer to God through your efforts, words, actions, and deeds. You see, friends, God made the world. He made it symmetrical. He made it balanced and it operates ongoing, ongoing. He brought people into the world, into his creation, to learn, understand, and then teach the population. How do I know that? Because the history books and the Bible tell us. That's why and how. This is a leap year. It blows my mind how people 
from our past historical growth understood things much better than they do today and then made appropriate changes. Not too much, just the right amount to make the adjustments to make sure that our universe stayed in God's hands and under His control. Leap year. The year we're in right now, it goes way back to the beginning of mankind when the calendar was created because of the ongoing rotation of the earth around the sun somebody somewhere realized that left unattended things got out of balance things got offline and so an adjustment had to be made to make sure that it was moving the way they wanted it to move. They realized that every four years there needed to be an adjustment. How'd they do that? I, I really don't know. I don't know if you do either. It's written about, it can be researched, but oh my goodness, that might take some effort. But it applies and is talked about in history that every four years we had to add one full day to our calendar. That would happen every four years on February 29th, adding a day to the shortest month of the year to make the adjustment for the whole year. Isn't that amazing? You know, running through the center of the state of Idaho is the Salmon River, the river of no return. It, uh, it has one of the time zone lines right on the highway running north and south just outside the town of Riggins, Idaho, named after a pioneer. You can stand on one side of the river, the south side of the Salmon River, a bridge crosses for the highway to go over. And it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the south side of the river. Walk 250 yards across the bridge to the north side of the river. Take you maybe five minutes to make that stepping effort. And you gain a whole hour. <laughs> it's only 1 o'clock on the north side of the river. Time zones change, people change, but human nature never changes. And human nature needs and wants to be loved. Needs and wants to be helped. Needs and wants to be encouraged. Are you serving your creator by serving and loving your fellow man? I hope you are. You know, nothing's more valuable than drawing closer to God. Because your reward is not of this earth. It will be after your physical death on this earth. It is a spiritual realm that is your home, not this earthly place you live and get your mail. Know about who you are and what you are and where you're going. Know about who you're making that trip with. Develop personal relationships with people you love and care for and then meet and serve their needs. And tell them the truth of life. Inform them about who their creator really is and what their purpose really is while they live on this earth. And then trust God to bring up people all along the way to help make little adjustments. You see, if you're here and you want to be there, something has to change. Otherwise, nothing changes. Now listen to me. If you are 
wanting to get there quickly, then the shortest distance between where you are and where you want to be is a straight line between the two. But because of all the activities, all the environment, all the disruption, all the distractions, you get a little bit off down here and make no adjustments and you'll be way off when you get up to where you want to be. So the key is through mentorship, you adjust back every time you drift off by regularly meeting with and discussing your life with your mentor and you will be put back on course to keep the distance as short as possible. Most people just get drifting further and further away and finally they get so far offline from where they want to go it isn't worth it, it's too much effort. They throw the baby out with the bath water and they fail. Does that mean they're bad? No, it means they're human. Does that mean they, can, they cannot recover? No, they can, but it takes effort and commitment. Get yourself a mentor and build your life on the principles God laid out for you in accordance with the truth of Scripture. Draw closer and closer to God as you live more and more life and let Him drive your boat. Let Him God help you through life to get to where he wants you to go and then every time there's a year 2020 that is divisible by four you have a leap year so you add another day just one more day February 29th a one-time shot every four years Wow. God made life simple if you do it His way. It's very difficult if you try to do it your way. Peace and love to all of you.